Hi, I'm Ashwini. I'm playing the role of CEO for ABC Company. Hi, this is Sashaini. I'm playing the role of plaintiff. Okay. Hi, Ashwini. You're so Okay. Hi, I'm Sashaini. Hi, I'm Goy. I'm the plaintiff's lawyer and the defendant lawyers. Hi, I'm Anraj and I'm the judge. Hi, Mr. Raman. <laughs> The person who actually hit the plaintiff. Good morning. Today's court session is between Tachini versus ABC Company. Please proceed. Good morning. I'm here to present Miss Tachini to claim compensation for her injury at the amount of RM twenty thousand. Here I have the documents, which are the insurance, damage, and hospital fees. Good morning. I'm here to represent Miss Ashwini to refuse paying the compensation because it's not her fault. On Tuesday, fourteen April, Mr. Raman, the defendant's employee, accidentally hit Miss Tashu when he was on the way carrying out the order that was given by the defendant during working hours. Yes, it is. But actually, it's not Miss Ashwini's fault because it's actually Mr. Raman who caused the accident by his own negligence. But in the principle of vicarious liability. When an employee causes damage in any way during the work is being carried on, the employer needs to take responsibility on their wrongdoings, which is exactly why Miss Ashwini is responsible to it. Yes, it, it. but Miss Tachini own fault who caused to her own accident because she is not focusing on the wrong. I object. Your honor. Proceed. <laughs> Proof showing that Tashaini was not focusing. Mr. Raman was speeding and did not see Miss Tachu. I have a witness to prove that, and I've given all the details in the documents I've given just now. Thank you. Yes, I have viewed the documents are given by the plaintiff lawyer. I realize that this case is quite similar to the case of Rose versus Plenty. 1976. The facts of the case for Rose vs. Plenty is that Mr. Plenty is a milkman who employs Rose, a young boy, to help and causes the boy injured. Rose's job is to distribute the milk and collect the money and bring it back with the bottles to the van. Mr. Plenty allowed this young boy to do part of the business which was the employer's business. Therefore, the employer of Mr. Plenty is liable and need to take the responsibility to what had happened to the young boy. So, in my conclusion, Ms. Ashwini, the CEO from ABC Company, is liable even though it's not directly her fault. But her employee, Mr. Raman, but under the vicarious liability principle, she should pay 20,000 to the compensate Miss Tachani.